Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different for me. Instead of doing an August favorites, what I've done is basically like a haul video. It is going to be, sh I am going to be showing you all of the products that I purchased in the month of August. A lot of you that do follow me on Snapchat and even on Instagram, you'll notice that I say, like if I post a photo of my makeup of the day, I'll say, used a bunch of new products today. So a lot of you were like, hey, can you tell me about that product? Or can you tell, what do you think of that product? And you know, sometimes th these products that I try throughout the month, they don't make my favorites. But a lot of you still want to know like what I thought of them, what I got, and you know, like a mini review. So I thought I would do that this month instead of just favorites. I'm just gonna run through everything that I bought this month and give you like a little mini review of each thing. And if you do like this type of video, then be sure to let me know. If you don't like this type of video, I'm sure you'll let me know as well. But if you are interested in seeing all of my purchases from the month of August, then please keep on watching. So I do have quite a lot of things to get through, so I'm going to go sort of fast. I'm gonna start with fragrance, then go into skincare, I have a nail item, and then makeup. So let's get to fragrance first. There's a company that a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers promote, and it's called Scentbird. You've probably heard about it. If you haven't, then this is for you, and I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I know a lot of you probably have heard about it. Anyway, I heard about it from another YouTuber, and I thought it was an amazing service. It's right up my alley. I love perfumes, but I'm sure, just like a lot of you, I don't like buying an expensive perfume, wearing it once or twice, and then I'm like, I really don't like this. <laughs> Maybe it just didn't work with my chemistry, or, um, you know, I just, I don't know, sometimes you just buy something and you just regret it, or you just kind of grow out of a phase. Maybe you're in a sweet phase and you want to try something different. So when I heard about Scentbird, I was really, really excited because I thought, first of all, I hate rollerball, um, you know, like little travel sizes. I don't like rollerballs. I feel like I can never get a good amount of scent as I can when I'd use like a spray bottle. Like when I put per per perfume on, I like to do a little spray and then a walkthrough, and obviously you can't do that with a rollerball. And I know it's really meant for travel or to touch up, but I personally love Scentbird's um, little dispenser. And basically, if you're like, stop talking and just tell us what it is, um, Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service. So what happens is you go and you make a wish list and you, you can type in the fragrances you like and they'll suggest some for you and you basically make a month to month wish list. And so for $14.95 a month, they will send you a really nice size of a fragrance of your choice, a little dispenser like this, which is or a holder container, and it goes down and up like that. So you can put it in your purse and when you wanna use it, you just spray it like that. It also has a velvet pouch, I lost mine. Um, and I do have a promo code for you guys because I approached them. I was so happy with the service. I thought, now this is a company that I actually could get behind because I thought their customer service was great and I actually love what they offer. So the reason why I decided to mention Scentbird in this particular video is number one, because I keep forgetting to tell you guys about it. I've been with the company for a few months now and I keep forgetting to let you guys know um, and two, because I was really happy with the fragrance that I got this month. I've been happy with all of them that I've received, but I'm super picky, like, which is one of the reasons why I love, love this, this uh, service is because I'm super picky with my fragrances. It's just a great way to try without committing, and they do give you such a nice size. And I really liked all the ones I've received, but I only loved a couple of them, and this is one that I really, really love. And it's one that you guys probably have not even heard of, it is from Yves Saint Laurent and it's called Cinema. Now, Cinema came out like many, 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 many years ago. It wasn't extremely popular. I smelled this on a friend of mine maybe two or three years ago and she smelled heavenly. And I could not find this for the life of me. I checked all those little like perfume manias and like just all these little obscure like swap meets trying to find this fragrance because it was discontinued, I thought discontinued like a long time ago. Um, I ended up getting a little bottle on eBay but it didn't smell as good. I still was using it but it didn't smell as good as I remember my friend smelling like she smelled amazing. So I decided when I saw it on the Semper website, I'm like, heck yeah, oh my God. Like I could not believe this was on there. So I ordered it and I'm horrible at describing scents, absolutely 
horrible, but this, it's mature. It's definitely not for somebody like, it's not your teenage or your even your 20 something scent. It is definitely a more mature scent and it's just warm and I don't want to say it's musky, but it's got a, it's a little powdery. It's not fruity at all. So if you like fruity, this is not for you. Um, it's just, I want to say powdery musky, but that sounds disgusting. But um, yeah, anyway, the great thing about it is that if you don't like it, it was only $14.95 and you can give it to somebody in this cute little container or just give them this or I don't know. I just think Scentbird is awesome. So use my promo code below if you'd like to. You don't have to. I'm just wanted to tell you about it. So I only have one skincare item to show you and it is this Clear Days Ahead from Philosophy. These are salicylic acid acne treatment pads and I picked these up just because my skin was just kind of, you know, not really behaving and you know sometimes you're just like, I'm over my skincare, I wanna try some new stuff and that was me. And so one of the things I picked up was this product. I got some other samples that I won't go into but because um, I wasn't really impressed with them but um, this I actually purchased and I've been using it for maybe two weeks now and I really, really like them. It does help with this. My skin is like super soft. The reviews on it are great and I haven't found it to dry out my skin. That's my issue with um, like uh, hydroxy acids, just different kind of acids that I tend to overuse them and then my skin gets dried out and then I just have other problems. So um, I haven't felt dry with this and I really feel like my skin is super smooth and my breakouts are, I'm still like breaking out a little bit, but um, I definitely feel like I need to give it a couple more weeks before I give it a gigantic thumbs up or thumbs down, but so far so good with this. So next up is another product I have talked about on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, I think on my Instagram, but I'm obsessed with these Essie Gel Couture polishes. It's actually the one I have on. I've had them on in a couple videos. I do not like to go get my nails done. Um, I do not like sitting for an hour. I just, um, the problem with that is that my nails never really look good because I'll polish them with regular polish and within 24, 48 hours, they look awful. So I thought I would give this a try. I've tried other like two-step um, gel systems like from Revlon and Sally Hansen and they were like, eh, I was not impressed at all. This is amazing. I can get a full, it says like two weeks, I can't get two weeks, but I can get seven to 10 days without a single chip. And for me, that is definitely worth your like 11 or $12 each. This is a top coat. I have, a, I have like a pale pink, but this is my favorite color. It's uh, called Style and Excess. Anyway, oh my gosh, if you are looking for a great um, nail polish, that's gonna stay on, that will save you from having to go to the nail salon every two weeks and save you the money of getting a gel manicure. It comes off with regular polish remover. So that's amazing. Cause that's another thing when I would get gel manicures, I would always end up, they'd lift and then I'd end up peeling them off, peeling off the rest of the polish and just ruining my nails. So this, thank you, thank you Essie for making this, they're amazing. The next things I want to show you are some lashes I got from House of Lashes. I ordered them. I ordered the Boudoir and the Iconic Mini. Now, you may have seen Iconic on a lot of um, social media stars, for lack of a better word, um, like Desi Perkins. A lot of people love these Iconic lashes and they are beautiful but and they photograph amazing. But in person, on me, because I have such small eyes, they tend to overtake my eyes and look very... Um, just over the top in person. So when House of Lashes came out with minis, I was so excited because they're shorter, a little bit shorter and a little bit um, shorter in width as well because I always have to cut like half the lash off because my eyes are so small. So the minis are, they still are pretty, they're still pretty dramatic, I think. I thought they'd be a lot smaller, but they're really not. These are fantastic, I love these. I think minis are a great option, option. and House of Lashes has um, really fast shipping and they're really reasonably priced. So moving on to hair, I always love a good hair oil. I have tried so many different hair oils and most recently I've been using one from The Way by Jen Atkin and I had just a little bit left and of course when I'm towards the end of something I'm already thinking well what am I gonna buy next? So I was thinking about repurchasing it because I love the smell of it and I think it works really well but then of course I get on Sephora and I'm like researching some other ones seeing what the top rated ones are and I heard really good things about this Verb Ghost Oil and I've only used it a couple times 
but so far it is really amazing and I like it just as much if not even a little bit more than the way although I do prefer the smell of the way more I mean to me it just smells amazing um, but this one is only $14 so this is a smoothing moringa blend weightless hair oil and I just put in a couple of pumps before I blow dry my hair well I put the I put an oil in and then I do a heat protection spray and then I blow dry my hair but I really, really love this. And anytime I can find something that I like just as much for a little less money, saves me some money that I can spend on something else, I'm all for it. Moving on to a couple of things that I actually have reviews of on my channel, but I just thought I'd mention real quickly. The Chanel La Tante Ultra Tenue Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation, which was my last video. I did a full review on this. Still really liking that. I also have a full review of my Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup. Um, palette so I picked this up during the month of August and you know my review of this was basically it's okay it's nothing fabulous the pigment is not what I was expecting and it's just whatever another palette I got like at the very end of the month so I thought I would include it in this haul is this ice cream palette from dose of colors and I freaking love this palette. It is unlike any other palette I own. The pigment on this is what I wish the Nikki Tutorials one would be. I mean, they're so buttery and so pigmented. So look at the pigment on these. I mean, this is how it's done. This is how you make a pigmented, buttery palette. This is limited edition. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, get it. If you're on the fence, Get it. I love it. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do because I thought, when am I going to use these colors? But I've played around with it and it's so fun. It's so great. It's such good quality. Love it. So a couple more eyeshadows to show you. These are duos from NARS. I picked up Isolde, which are these kind of golden, orangey, coppery shades. I had this many years ago and lost it. And I was just in the NARS boutique at Caesars Palace and I thought, you know what, that looked so good on my blue eyes and on green eyes and just, I thought, I really need to put this back into my kit and yeah, I bought another one and I actually, this is the eyeshadow I was wearing in my Urban Decay um, All Nighter foundation review. A lot of people complimented me on that makeup. It's kind of really like just golden, bronzy and I use this duo, it's fantastic. The other duo I picked up that day is called Kauai, and this is a lavender, like a shimmery lavender color, and a like, almost like an olive, like a light, light minty gold. It's really hard to explain, but that's it. So it's these two right here. And this one is called Kauai. I really love NARS shadows. I've been using them for years and I always just forget how much I love them so I don't use them for a long time because I buy all this other stuff and then I remember, gosh, I really like those shadows. So one other item I picked up when I was at the NARS boutique was this velvet shadow stick in the shade Hollywoodland. And it is just a really nice champagne shimmer and I'm really into layering my eyeshadows with a cream base now. Either like an Armani eye tint or something like this where I'll lay it down and then I'll go and put a shadow. Like here's Hollywoodland alone. And then let me show you what it's like with, I'm gonna put this color from Kauai over it. It just intensifies shadows so much and makes them so metallic-y and beautiful. I absolutely love this pencil. I also use it in the inner tear duct so when I put my inner corner highlight it's really really vibrant so I highly recommend this as well. So rounding out my August beauty haul are some lip products. I placed an order with Beautylish because the Jeffree Star um, liquid lip colors in Celebrity Skin and I'm Nude were actually in stock and they're always sold out and even though I have so so many nude and nude pink um, flesh tone liquid lipsticks. I really felt like I had to own these because everybody was always talking about them. Some of my favorite artists were always using them. So when I saw they were in stock, I said, I'm getting them. So this is I'm Nude, which is one of those like really, really fleshy 
um, nudes that it can kind of go concealer lips uh, if meaning you know what looks when you put concealer on your lips not that attractive um, but on certain skin tones I can see it looking amazing for me it's a little light on its own I do have to mix it with something like I'll even mix it with the celebrity skin celebrity skin is gorgeous it's very similar to um, some other nudes that I have like even um, like stripped from Anastasia it's a little bit more of like a mauvey brown nude but it's really flattering on a lot of skin tones and I do like the texture of these and I do like how well they wear on the lips so the last two things I want to show you and let me just say I apologize if I look excessively shiny but these lights are so hot and I had to film in my basement because I was filming later in the day I've just been so busy and I just wanted to get a video done for you before I leave to go on a trip so anyway I'm filming under these really hot lights and it just makes me even more oily than I usually am. So, final products. Alexa Persico Lipstick and Gloss. I have heard of this brand for years. I've just always talked myself out of ever ordering, but on her Instagram, I saw this gloss in Candy Kiss and I was immediately drawn to it. It's a shimmery, some might say frosty, um, pinky, peachy gold. So yeah, I just thought this was so stunning and she was posting how it was selling quickly and it was going to be selling out and I just thought, oh, I, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to get it. And then I also had heard nice things about this Victoria lipstick. I don't know whose YouTube video I was watching, but somebody had brought up this lipstick and I thought, well, if I'm already placing an order, I might as well just get both things that I'm interested in. And so this lipstick in Victoria matches perfectly with that lip gloss it's not like frosty or anything but it's a really pretty peachy pink if you're someone like me who just hoards peachy pink lipsticks it's a really nice formula as well so you would really if like i said if you're somebody who uh, wears these colors a lot this combo especially is stunning the gloss isn't super sticky or anything so um it's a nice formula the packaging is really nice and again here's the colors so that is it for my August beauty haul. Everything that I picked up in the past month. Overall, I'm very happy with each item that I got and would recommend everything that I've just gone through with you. I know I couldn't go into really in-depth reviews of each item, but if you do have any specific questions, please feel free to uh, leave your question in the comments and I will do my best to answer those questions for you. Um, yeah, that's all. I thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me that you take time out of your day to watch my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Both are Risa Does Makeup. I also have my blog, which I'm trying to get better about posting on. Um, that is RisaDoesMakeup.com and I'll leave the link below as well. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next video.